Hey, what's going on guys? Victor Chambers here, New Jersey Notary Public and Notary Loan Signing Agent. And in this video, as you can see, I wanted to talk to you about what exactly is in my notary bag as a loan signing agent and as a notary public. So as you can see, this is my bag here and everything I'm gonna talk about in this video, I'll link down in the description below. Those are, for the most part, affiliate links and I would earn a small commission from any purchases you make through my link obviously want to disclose that but uh this is my notary bag which i got from amazon again links down in the description below and i'm just going to walk through and talk to you about what exactly is in here and what it's used for how i find it useful and hopefully you prov you find value in me me sharing a little bit of that so this is really not going to be in any particular order i'm just going to start pulling stuff out and and talk to you about exactly what it is so um, let's start with, this is my iPad. Um, it's a iPad Air, not the, the newest one, not the latest generation, but I always carry an iPad around with me everywhere I go. So it just makes sense to actually have it in my notary bag. I was using uh, Notary Act, which is a online electronic notary journal. And so typically when I'm at a signing, I'll actually have my iPad up and open next to me and I'll fill out my journal entries in that electronic journal on my iPad. I've been using a physical journal as of late, um, so I haven't been using it as much for, for electronic uh, you know, journal entries, but I always carry it around with me, like I said. And speaking of journals, my, the journal I use is right here. This is the Modern Journal of Notarial Events here um i'll do is probably do a separate video specifically talking about this journal specifically but i've been using it um it's great um i'll do a separate video about why exactly i i like this particular journal but this is this is the journal i use obviously can't do a signing without that or any notary work without that that journal there uh what else is in here these are fedex large packs so if you go to any fedex shipping store you can get these actually for free and i always have uh you know five six seven of these in my bag that i'm carrying around and anytime i do a drop i just grab a few so that i have some on hand but these are big enough to hold legal size documents and so typically when i'm dropping a package i'll put the signed package into a manila folder with a, a large binder clip or extra large binder clip and put it in here, seal it and take it to the counter, um, close it up. They'll, they'll tape the label on there as well. Always make sure you get a receipt when you drop a package off, just in case something happens, you have proof that it was actually shipped. So always carry a bunch of these with me. What else? Um, I have a badge actually. Um, now this is a badge I made on Zazzle. Um, it was a recommendation by a couple of signing agents I saw videos from. I have a badge I made. It has my, uh, my name. It has my uh, you know, certification emblems on here. And this is completely customizable. I just carry this around in this little uh, ID holder. Uh, so that I don't have to pull out my driver's license to show a signer when I when I show up, I can just show them this or you can always hand them a business card with your photo and they'll be able to see that you are who you who you say you are. But I always keep that in my bag and just clip it on myself before I go into a signing. Um, what else? These are just some extra manila folders that I carry around in my bag. Um, and sometimes I'll use these so that the, the signers have a surface to sign their documents on. Sometimes when you're sitting at a table uh, at a signer's house, sometimes the table has, it's textured. And so that affects the way uh, the, they, they're able to sign the papers um, or what have you. So I usually use this as a surface and I'll just have them, um, I'll just sit their docs on the surface and then they could sign on here so that it's a nice, smooth, even even surface especially when you're doing signings outdoors sometimes you know you might do signings on a on a picnic table or some sort of outdoor furniture these come in super handy from from what I found so that's that's that pocket the back pocket 
Um, let's go to, this is another little, uh, little folder I have uh, that I keep in my bag. And what's in this basically is my New Jersey Notary Public Manual. I have my Notary Commission uh, you know, document here. Um, and this is just kind of a, a, a reference, just in case I need to pull it out really quickly and, and look at something or have questions about something relevant to um, you know, notarizing or a specific type of document or, or what have you. This is just all of my little reference materials in one place I can pull out and, and just peek at it you know, at a signing or wherever if I have to. Um, I've definitely had to refer to the manual before, um, but I just keep that, keep that with me um, to, uh, have it always to, to refer to. So I keep that in here. So my, my manual, and then you can have a copy of your notary commission or the actual notary commission, uh, that you receive from your state. I just keep that in here. Just, just, you know, uh, in case I actually need it. Next I have, this is my, uh, rescission calendar for 2020. Obviously I'll need a 2021 uh, rescission calendar pretty soon. This is uh, one from Chicago Title. I actually printed this out through the, the loan signing system. I have access to this uh, through that through that course. This is very handy if you need to fix uh, rescission dates on a notice of uh, right to cancel. For example, you can uh, instead of having to figure it out, you can just look at this calendar and determine what the correct correct dates are based on when you're signing. So I always keep this in my bag and keep keep that handy as well. I have another folder here. And in this folder, I keep copies of, uh, of blank jurats, uh, blank jurats, blank uh, acknowledgements, um, jurat with uh, affiant statement, an individual acknowledgement, a proof of execution by subscribing witness. And I, I, I got all these from the National Notary Association. They have copies of these by, by state. I keep extras in my bag just in case I mess up a notarization section on a document. I can always pull out one of these and, and sign it and attach it to, to that specific document. These definitely are a must have in your notary bag that will come in very useful. And you know, if you make a mistake, it's obviously not not the end of the world. Um, you obviously wanna be as accurate as possible and as diligent as possible when signing and notarizing docs. But in case you do make a mistake, you can just attach one of these, um, you know, depending on what kind of notarization is required on the document, you can attach a copy of these. So I have like 20 copies of, of each type of, um, each type of attachment. And again, you can get those from the National Notary Association site for your state. Uh, let's see what else is in here. I have a box of pens. These are the uh, G2 uh, Pilot G2 pens. I have a box in blue. Um, this is a fine point pen. I like this pen because it writes well. It writes smoothly. And one thing I also uh, realized recently, I was using. Uh, let's see here. I was using another type of pen and I can't find them in here right now. I think they're maybe in another pocket. I was using another type of pen that uh, I noticed that in one of my signings, one of the borrowers like wrote really light, just had a really light like touch. And so it, it made the, the ink come out not as dark as, as their spouse that was signing. And so when I noticed that, I said, that, that's interesting. Um, you know, these gel roller pens print, you know, they, the ink comes out pretty, pretty consistently in dark, which is important, um, you know, for, for a signer, no matter how heavy or, or light their hand is, you want the ink to be definitely, um, you know, legible and dark so that the uh, title company or mortgage company don't have an issue with the, the, the color of, or how light or dark the, the ink is. You always want it to be definitely dark and, and noticeable. So these are pretty good for that. Also got these on Amazon. Again, these are the Pilot G2 premium gel roller pens. Um, I have these in blue. I do have some blacks, but most signings, at least here in New Jersey, uh, people want, want blue ink. So that's a box of those. Uh, what else do I have in here? I also have another little 
uh, reference folder in here. This is the Signing Professionals Work Group Notary Signing Agent Signing Presentation Guidelines, specifically for refinance. Most of the signings I do are refinances. Um, this just walks through um, how to uh, confirm a signing, your introduction, um, how to you know walk through the instructions, a brief description of, of all of the different documents. I had to refer to this maybe the first couple of signings I did uh, just to make sure I knew what I was saying. Uh, but after that, I really don't use it, but I, I keep it in my bag because you just you just never know. It's good to have it available than to not have it available. Um, this is my embosser. Um, so this is from Excel Mark. Um, this is, you know, has my name and state on it. If I can get it open. I rarely have to use this. Typically not for loan signings, but for other notary kind of work. You know, you have, I may have to use this or, you know, in, in tandem with my, my stamp. Um, it locks. You can kind of see the imprint in there. But, you know, I, I really don't use this too often. It just obviously will need it in my bag just in case I have to do a notarization that, you know, I'll have to emboss as well. Um, that's it in this pocket. Um, let me go to the front pocket where I have some other things. I have um, a stamp. Obviously, as a notary, you need a notary stamp. As I said, um, this has all of my, my information on it, uh, my commission number and my name, uh, state of New Jersey, when it expires. Um, and this, this is also by Excel Mark. Um, got this from, from Amazon. And then I actually have a backup stamp. So the same exact stamp, I have two of them um, that are exactly the same, just in case I have an issue with, with one or by, by chance lose one. Always have a backup of a stamp because you can't notarize anything without, without a stamp. So that definitely has come in handy. This is a uh, uh, ink refill for a black stamp, also by Excel Mark, um, just in case my ink is running low, I can quickly fill the, the stamp pad with, with more ink and, you know, be in business. So I haven't had to use this yet. I probably will, will soon, but I always keep that with me and in my bag just in case I'm out on the road and I need to re-ink a stamp. I have some antibacterial hand wipes. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs, hopefully. Um, but I use these at every single signing. Typically when I sit down at a table, I will, in front of the signers, actually take these out, wipe my hands, wipe the pens down, you know, if I've used them previously um, in front of them before I give them the pens that uh, they're gonna sign with. I just wipe, wipe them down with, with these wipes, just, you know, just to be safe and, and cautious. Those come in handy. Um, I have more black pens, not a whole lot of them. I just keep a pack of them with me just in case I need them. Um, single use thumb, thumbprint strips. I got these from the National Notary Association. I have had not had to use these uh, before, but obviously because of the times we're in with COVID, uh, single use thumbprint strips are, are ideal because you won't have to have someone dipping their thumb into um, you know, the same ink, ink pad that other people have used. So single use thumbprint strips are, are good to have. Um, you know, check with your state whether thumbprints are necessary. Like I said, I haven't had to, to use those. Um, what else? Oh, these are the pens, the blue pens I, I was using. Um, they, they have the top. You know, I kind of like those better because they're, they're just, you know, you just push them. These are paper made pens. They work well, but um, you know, like I said, if someone has a, has a light hand, the ink may not be as dark, which is obviously not as, not as ideal. I have some large binder clips here. I keep a, a case of these in my bag. So these are, these are large. I don't feel like they're, they're that big. They're definitely not small, but I keep those in my bag as well. Um, I have a couple of extra, extra large binder clips. I use these most often for, uh, you know, the, the signer's package to clip the doc. Cause these packages are, you know, typically over hundred pages, sometimes 120, 140. I've even signed 160 page 
uh, refinances, for example, and these come in extra handy. Definitely when I'm shipping a package, I binder clip the, the docks. Um, put, like I said, put them in the manila envelope and then put them in the FedEx large pack. It has to be sent back through FedEx. Uh, what else do I have in here? Let's go into this very front pocket. I have business cards. I'll typically, um, you know, clip one of my business cards onto the, the seller's copy of the docs. I pretty much designed and, and uh, have these printed on Canva. Um, very easy to design, basic, nothing crazy. Don't overthink it. Just buy, you know, create a business card with your photo, maybe your notary commission, ID, number, your contact information, email, website, phone number, all of that is, is good. What else? I have some sort quick. Um, this is a fingertip moistener. Um, I haven't had to use this a lot. Um, obviously, because of COVID, you don't want to be licking any pages. Um, you shouldn't be licking other people's papers anyway. Um, but this is just something that comes in handy if you need to moisten your finger to kind of make sure you can more you know quickly flip through pages. Um, super important, super clutch to have um, having your bag if you were to were to need it. I also keep some on my desk in my office when I'm prepping docs to kind of go through them. Um, that comes in very handy as well. So that was sort quick. Um, and then lastly, I have, this is just a, a credit card reader. This is the PayPal mobile card reader. And I've used this primarily when I'm doing more so general notary work and I have to meet with someone and they want to pay with a credit card. I just always make sure I have this with me so that I can accept you know, a credit card form of payment, um, you know, that, that comes in handy because obviously you want to you wanna get paid. I mean, people can pay you in cash, um, but I just keep that with me uh, just in case. And then other than that, I just have like other receipts and things that I actually need to store in my office, but they're in here in this bag. Um, in terms of what's not in here that I, I use, I also have, um, they got one thing. These are some like post-it note little flags. Um, I don't really use these that much anymore, but they come in handy if you need to mark off on a document where something needs to be signed or just make a note about a specific document. These, these come in really handy, so I just keep them with me. Like I said, I don't use them that much. But definitely when you're first getting started, I would recommend using something like that um, to help you um, note spots on docs where um, signatures are required. And then, like I said, in terms of what's not in here that, um, for example, I keep in my car, I keep a, a box of disposable masks, um, surgical masks always. I keep, I keep those and I'll, I'll put one on before I go into a signing. And then when I'm done, I'll done with the signing and leave the house. I'll take it off and, and toss it. I also keep a box of, uh, gloves, um, like latex, gloves that are you know comfortable enough for me to you know flip through docs with and and actually sign documents with uh, use those sometimes not not very often it depends on the title companies or the escrow companies instructions sometimes they're very explicit that they want you to wear gloves but um, you know so I just keep them just in case um, so masks gloves I, I do have a bottle of sanitizer that I, I keep in the car and I also have uh, shoe covers that I keep in the car that I'll put on, you know, my shoes before I before I go into their house, so that I don't have to take my shoes off and I don't have to, you know, um, you know, track the outside into their house. And some people are very um, conscious of that these days as well. Um, so that's that's really pretty much it in terms of what's what's in my bag. Um, this obviously has served me well, you know, on my on my journey thus far. Um, in terms of anything that you know I would need to add to my bag, nothing really comes to mind. All of this stuff has been extremely useful. This is, as you can see, it's a, a nice size bag. It can hold letter and legal docs, so that's definitely um, a must-have um, when you uh, when you're looking for for a bag. Um, this is expandable as well, so I can you know expand it or or unexpand it. Um, however. Um, if I need to fit like, you know, three or four, uh, you know, sets of docs in there, it, it, 
you know, works well for that. But that's pretty much it in terms of what's actually in my notary bag. Again, this, you know, this supplies covers anything I want to do in terms of general notary work or or even for for loan signings as well. So let me know if you have any questions about anything I've mentioned here or anything I've I've shown you here again links down in the description below where you can find pretty much all of these products um, on on Amazon thank you for for tuning into this video if you're not subscribed please subscribe uh, I'm gonna be releasing more content covering my journey as a notary public and notary loan signing agent in addition to other content that I'm I'm planning out that I have coming uh, and like this video share it again subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Peace.